are. <laughs> and, you know, the thing about you is that, you know, you were the guy who's been leading the charge uh, for impeachment for two years now. I remember you when you first started. You were the only one saying it. So now Senator Mitch McConnell has already said there's no chance that Trump will be removed because he's consulting the White House <laughs> in the Senate trial that's coming up. He will be consulting with the White House on how to proceed, even though that Senate trial is supposed to be comprised of objective jurors, no, notably the Senate. Yeah. So throw that out the window. Um, so why bother with an impeachment trial if that's going to be, if the fets are complete? as they say in France. Well, <laughs> <laughs> very fancy. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Let me say this. I have always felt that the court that matters in terms of impeachment and removal of the most corrupt president in American history yeah. is the court of public opinion. And the people who matter are the people of the United States. The voters. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And so the real question here is, are the people of the United States going to be able to see in televised hearings what happened how corrupt this president is, and make up our own minds. Because actually, it wasn't me two years ago talking about no. need to impeach. It was 8 million Americans and me uh -huh. talking about need to impeach. And it was really the over 8 million people who signed the petition mm -hmm. that dragged Washington, D.C. to see this as a matter of right and wrong, not political expediency. All right. Uh, Mr. Steyer, between you and Mayor Bloomberg, you have now spent $200 million on political ads. Uh, it hasn't really helped you very much in the polls, but you did make it to the next debate stage. I think you bought your way there, and I don't think it's fair that you're there and Cory Booker isn't. Changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me put it this way. I think for every single person who wants to be the Democratic nominee, the question is, what is your message? Are you saying something differential, important, that the American people trust you on. So let me just say this. I have a simple message. Mm -hmm. This government's broken. It's been bought by corporations. That if we're not going to get any of the progressive policies that Democrats are talking about <coughs> until somebody gets us back to government of, by, and for the but people. It's, it's not reflecting in the polls, though. Actually, if you take a look, Megan, yes, this, is not, this, is not, <laughs> this is not an election. It's a series of elections. And I've been spending, I'm not a famous person. It's a one or now. It's a series, series of elections. elections. Oh. And I've been spending my time Goodness. in the early primary states, mm -hmm. not nationally. So, so in Booker, the early primary states, dollars. in the early primary states, when people hear my message, actually they respond. So but you, in don't those have to, states, you don't have to take money from the NRA, right? Look, Good for you. I'm talking about breaking a corporate yeah. stranglehold on our government yeah. that is preventing it from acting on anything. And no one can say that I've been purchased, but I also have 10 years mm -hmm. of putting together coalitions like the people in this audience mm -hmm. to stand up for our rights and to take on unchecked corporate power that has bought our government. Right. So I actually have a history yeah. of a decade of successfully organizing Americans like need to impeach, but also taking on mm -hmm. oil companies and tobacco Climate companies, but it's yeah. good. You drug have companies. You have $100 to buy Facebook ads to get you on a debate stage. I'm completely unconvinced by this, but Look, we can move on. This but, is about message. 